This presentation is an overview of the product opcsystems.net. opcsystems.net is designed to run as a service-oriented architecture. It runs as a Windows service at the local data source, so it's easy to deploy and easy to install. There's nothing you need to register with IIS or any kind of web services. It runs as a solid Windows service. From that data service, we can communicate to remote client applications using TCP IP connections. So we get rid of the need for DCOM. We only use DCOM at the local data source for an OPC server. All other connections use a standard TCP IP connection, so can, you can even use the internet to remotely connect your data sources together. A lot of our customers use our software to tie all of their plant data together with their business applications because we're an open platform. We'll be able to share data with OPC servers and clients, but also with databases in an open format. And also with Microsoft Excel, we can transfer data real time, even over the internet. And the most powerful connection is the open connectivity in Microsoft Visual Studio. So we can easily connect data both programmatically and through operator interface in a Microsoft Visual Studio.net application. This could be a web application, a Windows application in WinForm or WPF, or it can even be a Windows service. So running as an open platform makes it very easy to tie in third-party applications. There's often a .NET API or some kind of database that we can interface with to share data between OPC servers and clients with other information systems. Let's take a look at the product features of opcsystems.net. That we can do under the main page at opcsystems.com. The opcsystems.net suite contains all 15 product features and bundles it all together. opcwpf.net is how we could create operator interface applications that you can deploy as a smart client using Windows Presentation Foundation. You do not have to be a programmer in order to use these components. They're simply drag and drop components right onto the forms. And a lot of our training videos walk you through the steps on how to use Visual Studio to use these components. In fact, we have training videos on all of our product features. If you want to develop WinForm application, opccontrols.net is the right product. And it also supports remote connectivity over the internet and can also be deployed as a smart client. OPCTrend.net can be used in WinForm and WPF applications for real-time trending and historical trending. OPCAlarm.net provides real-time alarming for WinForm and WPF applications, also provides alarm notification via email, alarm statistics real-time, and also alarm logging to SQL Server, Oracle, Access, and MySQL. We have gauge components for both WinForm and WPF applications. We also have the web products, opcwebcontrols.net, opcwebtrend.net, and opcwebalarm.net. These are great components if you want to develop operator interface applications for smartphones or non-Windows operating systems like the iPad. opcdatabase.net gives you the ability to log values from any of our data sources into SQL Server, Oracle, Access, MySQL, and CSV files. This data logging engine is ex also extremely robust. If you lose your remote network connection or if you have a database engine failure that you're logging to, the system will actually buffer that data and hold on to it until the network is restored or the database engine is made available again. So as long as you have a connection to your data source, like your OPC server or your Visual Studio application, you will not lose any data. The resolution of this product is down to 100 nanoseconds. OPCReport.net is used to generate reports automatically to PDF, Word, HTML, or directly to a printer from database engines like SQL Server, Oracle, and Access. OPCRecipe.net is used to transfer values from a database back to OPC servers or .NET applications. This is a way to turn data from a database into real-time data in our data service. So you can then generate alarms displayed on an operator interface or even trend data directly from the database. OPCClient.net is a product feature to provide connectivity to third-party OPC clients. You can use this product feature to tie your third-party OPC client to our real-time data service even over the internet. OPCMobile.net is for Windows Pocket PC applications for operator interface. OPCRoute.net gives you the ability to transfer data automatically from one OPC server to another, again, even over the internet. OPCExcel.net 
provides you real-time access into Microsoft Excel for both read and write functionality, again uh, over the internet. When you purchase any of the product features of opcsystems.net, it comes with free connectivity to OPC servers, a free real-time engine that has calculation support, and also free programmatic interface so you can automatically set up the opcsystems.net application from your own data source. You can try any of our smart client or web-based applications that are hosted from our website at opcsystems.com. If you click on the online demos link at the bottom of the main page, you'll see various smart client applications that you can run yourself. The advantage of a smart client is that it's extremely easy to develop. It's just a standard Windows application, either WPF or WinForm application. You can centralize the deployment to one location and keep all clients up to date with one deployment and it has a very rich user experience. It has the advantages of thin clients that it has a broad reach and very easy to deploy and all of the communications support remote connectivity over the internet. I'll demonstrate some of these HMI components for you. With the WPF application we can run either a 2D or 3D operator interface. In the 3D example we see that we have a tank with a pump and a couple valves that we can control just by clicking on the buttons we can open and close the valves. We can start and stop the pump. And because this is a WPF application we can also implement a 3D model so if I click on control panel I can actually zoom in onto any section that I've selected on the WPF application. Also WPF applications can be made to be scalable. So here we have an operator interface looking at a couple tanks and some valves and I can shrink the example as small as I would like or make it as large as I would like and you notice that everything scales with that. We can click on the pump and the valve to open to begin filling the tank and again this can be connected even over the internet we can see a list of all of the controls if you select controls we have borders buttons text box uh, labels all of the various controls that you might want to uh, take control of let's take a look at the example of buttons with any of the controls we can bind real-time data to the various properties of the controls for example with the button control we can move it flash it rotate it skew it uh, all dynamically based upon an analog or digital signals We can make the button turn things on and off. So if I click on the button, I can turn the pump off. I click on the button again, turns it back on. All of these, all of these attributes were assigned in design mode without any programming at all. And again, can remotely connect over the internet. Let's take a look at the alarming under menu alarms. With the alarm window, we can use it to display what is currently in alarm or what has been acknowledged. I can double click on any alarm to acknowledge an alarm. I can sort and manage the alarms either by alarm type or maybe by alarm group, just by grouping them. The opcalarm.net product also contains the ability to keep track of how long something's been in alarm or how many alarms are currently active. For example, for this instance of the service, in the last 24 hours, we've had 277 alarms and now just incremented to 278. And the number of current active alarms is currently seven. So if I acknowledge all of those alarms, we see that all of the alarms are now acknowledged and we have the current uh, status that we still have eight outstanding alarms active. Let's take a look at opctrend.net in action. OPCTrend.net can also support connections over the internet because the Windows service is running locally all of the trend data would be cached there and we're simply presenting the real-time data out to this component. Here we're looking at real-time data of a couple signals. We can look at uh, multiple y-axis, um, up to 20 y-axis are possible. We can also do xy plots. You can display historical data along with real-time data in the same trend window. And there's a lot of interactions that are possible with the trend control. It is even a 3D uh, component, so you can rotate the trend about any angle that you would like to present your data.
We also have gauge controls. Here's an example of the WPF gauge that you can display real-time data in a gauge format. And also demonstrated in the WPF example, we have the ability to read values programmatically. You can also write values programmatically as well. And when you write values to our service, we timestamp it with the optional timestamps that you provide so that everything maintains a 100 nanosecond resolution even though that you're running on a Windows operating system. There's a simple add tags method to subscribe on what you're interested to monitor. We'll execute that. And then you'll get a data event of any time that those values change. And you can dynamically add and remove points to the data component that you'd like to monitor. And everything receives a timestamp from the originating data source, which would be, at this example, an OPC server, along with the data quality itself. We have a video on the programmatic data interface and that provides you the ability to connect your own Visual Studio data as a data source for this service so you can use any of the product features of the service this way. If you would like a personal demonstration of any of these product features of opcsystems.net or would like to learn more information about opcsystems.net, visit us on the web at opcsystems.com. Under the Contact Us page, you'll find our contact information to reach us directly either by phone or email, and also a link to request a free product demonstration.